Ash Farm Super Videos back for another video for season 11 of The Walking Dead. In this video we're going to be taking another look at some of the behind the scenes footage that was released as part of the Show Me More which was posted on The Walking Dead's YouTube page and we're also going to be talking a little bit about the picture that was released by fans from the season finale and I'm going to kind of go through some of the potential connections between the things that we saw in the behind the scenes and also the picture that was released by fans which was an unofficial picture and it actually had some sort of a spoiler in there so before I get into this I do want to put out a spoiler warning because the stuff that I'm going to be talking about is related to a picture that wasn't officially released and there's potentially some minor spoilers or big spoilers depending on how you look at it so if you haven't seen the picture and don't know what we're talking about and don't want to know then don't watch the rest of this video because it will spoil things for you so with that said stay tuned we'll be right back to break it all down all right as always before we jump into this smash that like button subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when i upload on the channel with that said let's dive right into it so first i'm gonna go through some of the screen caps from the behind the scenes footage that was released on the show me more video on the walking that's youtube page i'm gonna specifically look at the things that are surrounding a particular event that happens at commonwealth something similar to what actually happened in the comics so let's go through this in the order that i think we're most likely gonna see things go down so first we have this shot of eugene up in the stands there's a mic right next to him and it appears that they are doing some sort of a draw at Commonwealth. So I'm assuming what this is, they are celebrating some sort of a monumental moment in the Commonwealth, much like what we saw in Omaha in The Walking Dead World Beyond. And I'm assuming that Pamela is going to pull out a number and there's going to be winners, something like that. Similar to something they already did during Halloween at Commonwealth with the kids. Now, if you pay attention, there's actually some ropes here. And it seems they've set up this kind of boxing ring in the middle of the main area at Commonwealth. And that's where Pamela is kind of doing this draw. And there's obviously residents that are watching Pamela. They're standing around the boxing ring. We will see that in just a little bit. But this was pretty much the context of how this thing is going to start. Obviously, we know that Eugene... Connie, Max, and others are basically building up a case against Pamela. They were going to publish a story that's going to expose Pamela. We did see at the very end of the previous episode, the mid-season finale 1116, that they did in fact release that to the papers in a way to expose Pamela, and Pamela wasn't very happy about it. And I think what's going to happen here is Eugene is going to potentially say something behind the mic that's going to be kind of the killer shot in a way to expose Pamela. And I think Eugene's statements or potential statements is going to get a big reaction out of the Commonwealth residents. But before we kind of dig deeper into that, there was another shot that was released where we have Daryl, Judith, and there's obviously crew around them, but they are at Commonwealth. Now, obviously, it's unlikely that Daryl would be allowed to come back. We know that Commonwealth militia, most specifically Lance, are looking for Daryl and Maggie and the others. So the fact that Daryl is there means one of two things. One, that they've forgiven him or that he's basically made amends with Lance and the others, which is unlikely. Or the other scenario is that this is after some potential skirmish with the commonwealth and daryl is there to get all of the survivors out of the commonwealth and he's not there to make friends with lance and the commonwealth militia which i think is a more likelihood scenario but going back to what i said earlier i think when eugene makes that statement he gets a reaction out of the residents and that's gonna spark some sort of a riot or some sort of a protest at the commonwealth we see some shots of 
people running and even some shots of people with their fist up as if they're chanting. So it seems like there's some riots that have broken out at the Commonwealth. In one of the shots that was in the main trailer for part C of season 11, we actually see this shot of fake Stephanie. I keep forgetting her name, but we do see fake Stephanie and also the bald guy. Both of them were in Lance's secret group. And it seems like behind them, there's Commonwealth militia and people protesting. So I think what's happening here is that they are actually looking for maybe Eugene, maybe Connie, maybe someone who they feel was responsible for triggering these riots and they're most likely going to attempt to arrest them. We have another shot that's related. So we see Jerry in the middle of that protest that we just saw and he's with the kids. He's looking behind him as if he's watching the two people following him. Now, what's interesting is that this is kind of similar to something that happened in the comics because we did have riots in the comics, but in the comics, the riots started because of a skirmish between Commonwealth militia and innocent survivors. And it happened because a Commonwealth soldier killed some innocent people. That's how the riots in the comics started. But it seems like they're gonna do some remix of that in the TV adaptation where instead of seeing that, we're gonna see the riots start because of what Eugene says or potentially as part of what Eugene says and also stuff that was put in the newspaper exposing Pamela. And then after that, there's gonna be skirmishes between the residents of Commonwealth and Commonwealth militia. And at this point, they might do the comic story where maybe innocent people do get killed by the Commonwealth soldiers, further escalating the situation. We even see at one point Eugene looking at something. He has a shock on his face. We have Max right behind him. It's as if Eugene is protecting her, which is pretty cool, but they're both shocked. So something is going down. And I think they're reacting to something bigger than just these protests. So this could be either when potentially innocent people get killed in these protests or when another story from the comics takes place. And that other story has to do with an assassination attempt on Pamela. But before we get there, in one particular shot, we even see Mercer jumping into action. And we do see later on that he's in the middle of that boxing ring that I was talking about with other Commonwealth militia and Pamela. And it seems like all of the residents are around, they're surrounding the boxing ring and their fists are up as if they're protesting. So it seems like maybe Pamela is cornered in or not cornered in, but you know what I mean? So this is extremely interesting and I think if they follow the comics where someone's going to try to kill Pamela and it's not just going to be anyone, it's going to be someone in the survivor's camp who's going to do that. So if they end up doing that story, which they most definitely will or most likely will, this might be the place to do it. Like when this thing is going down, Pamela's in the middle, she's got nowhere to go. Maybe that's where someone is going to try to kill Pamela. Now, before we talk about who that could be, we also do see at one point Sebastian is in that boxing ring as well. He's going to be an important character in these sequence of events that we're going to see, especially if they follow the comics. But obviously this is a behind the scenes. So Mercer is goofing around and pretending like he wants to hit Sebastian in the face with the axe. But later on in the behind the scenes, we see Daryl with Rick's cold python. He's pointing it at someone. This is actually a scene that was in the trailer. We do see Daryl with Rick's cold python. So I'm assuming this is moments before he goes through with whatever his plan is. I think this is either Daryl pointing his gun to shoot whoever is attempting to kill Pamela or he is attempting to kill Pamela himself. I think the first is more likely. Again, if we go back to the comic storyline, we do know that Dwight actually attempts to kill Pamela and he's executed by Rick Grimes himself. And then later on, Rick Grimes has a 
big scene with Sebastian. So if they do give that to Daryl, meaning Daryl takes Dwight's spot, that means that someone's gonna kill Daryl, which I don't think is gonna happen, obviously, because of the spinoff. And because we know that Daryl makes it to the end. So because of that, the other scenario is more likely where someone else takes Dwight's role and tries to assassinate Pamela and Daryl takes on Rick's role where he executes who that person is. I did say in my previous video that that could be Magna and that's still possible, but we do know that Magna also makes it pretty far most likely makes it further than this particular scene. It doesn't really matter who that other person is. Someone from our survivor's camp is gonna attempt to kill Pamela. Daryl is gonna execute them, which means if they do follow the comics, Sebastian is gonna go after Daryl, and there's gonna be a big moment there. But since we know that that's unlikely to happen, because like I said, Daryl makes it to the very end, then it's likely that they're gonna give us a twist a remixed version. And this is where my theory comes in. I think what's gonna happen is Sebastian is actually gonna try to do something. Maybe try to kill one of the survivors or something like that. Or maybe not even that. Maybe it is in fact one of the survivors trying to kill Pamela and then Sebastian is gonna stop it. And then Daryl may step in and shoot Sebastian to save our survivors. You know what I mean? So I think that might be where they're going with it. Either Sebastian tries to stop the assassination on Pamela and Daryl shoots Sebastian to prevent that, or Sebastian tries to kill one of the survivors and then Daryl shoots him to stop that. You know what I mean? So I feel like it might be one of these two scenarios. But in either case, I think what might end up happening is a situation where there might be some sort of a stray bullet that's gonna hit someone. Much like what they did in No Way Out with the stray bullet that hit Carl in the face, making him lose his eye. This is actually the picture that was released from the series finale. We've talked a lot about this. So we have our survivors in fight mode and we have Daryl carrying someone. Now we've been speculating who that is, whether it's Lydia, whether it's Judith, whether it's someone else, but at this point, I think we're safe to assume that it is Judith because if we look at some of the earlier shots, Judith is wearing identical clothing as what the mannequin that Daryl was holding is wearing. So I think the stray bullet that I was talking about is potentially going to hit Judith. So she might experience something similar to her brother, Carl. Even though it's highly unlikely she's gonna die, I think she's gonna get injured, much like Carl was injured during No Way Out. But one thing I find very interesting is if that's in fact what happens, then some things don't line up. One is that this is not at Commonwealth or it doesn't look like it. But then again, maybe things do go down at Commonwealth, but then after Judith is shot, they take Judith down to where that temporary hospital was that Ezekiel had set up to treat people, which would explain why Ezekiel is standing in front of everyone here, leading them. That's kind of one way to explain that part. But the other thing to kind of keep in mind is what everyone is wearing, specifically Eugene. Look at what Eugene is wearing. He's wearing a suit and tie, but going back to this shot, he's not wearing the same thing. So some things don't necessarily line up, but there might be some kind of time jump from the time when the riots happened to the time when Judith is actually shot on everything. But I do want to know everyone's thoughts and opinions about all of the things discussed in this video. What do you think about my theories about how this whole thing could come about? Do you think any of that makes sense or do you think that I'm wildly off? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.